right? They don't feel it's necessary or they think you're doing it for whatever other reasons. So it says, nevertheless, all these things shall be done by the power and according to the great wisdom of the Father. So again, the wisdom of the Father, not the wisdom of Solomon. I don't know if the if Solomon is the father at that time. Do you see what I'm saying? But it does say the wisdom um, of the father, right? And again, I don't know if that's considering, you know, if we're taking into consideration. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Um, all these things shall be done by the power according to the wisdom. So again, uh, well, we did, well, they did say the serpent was the wisest. I mean, if you really think about it. So again, the serpent is the wisest. The father, you know, whether you want to acknowledge, acknowledge it that way or not, symbolically, whoever is the president is the father. If you think about Inanna, she even had more power than her father. Can we think about that? That prehistoric energy that we're talking about that could be considered pagan or something of that nature is what we may be dealing with in these in, in times. Um, yeah, I don't know. The wisdom of the father, because again, we're talking about the oldest. I mean, I'm not even going to say like... Um, Minors, and is that of the mind? Is that dealing with the capital? Is is the capital being punished fairly? Is it you know like I, I'm just wondering? I mean I don't know. This is the questions that I'm having. Hmm. Hmm. For it is his desire that Lucifer be allowed to do these things so that this great nation could be a free nation in the beginning. Okay. So again, I don't know. Like I said, we're going into this point where Lucifer was able to do things. So this makes me think about some of the things that I feel like people were able to do to me within the so-called indigenous community. And I say so-called a lot because you guys know a lot of things ain't what they seem to be. So again, somebody gave a Lucifer the power. So like I said, it's a it's the energy of giving a a dark entity power over a light being to curse a light being, a holy one. And the fact that it's saying that, let's see. Mm. about to do these things okay um offering until the ability act according to the free agency the father has given all his children that they might be more fully tried and tested during the last days of their probation so again this i guess you know i guess you can look at this as a probationary period um again the give lucifer this power it seems like again even over you know, I'm, I'm getting Job energy here, but also, you know, the power over the Holy Spirit. But I feel like if, I feel like, they were indeed inspired by the God from who they received their inspiration. Yeah, because this is different, different gods. So again, again, gods. Okay, that's what I'm saying, like in this garden. Okay. <clears throat> so basically, th they were getting their inspiration from Lucifer and not God. But Lucifer had basically could become their God. Because again, it, it, it may be a sense of power, right? It may be a sense, like I told y'all. This is giving me that energy of those people that were just a little bit too well versed in how to turn things around, so called, with um, documents and different things like this. And I mean, I just see that's what I see. 
That's what just came to mind. Like I said, it's just some people that was just too well equipped coming into the game. And I just, you know what I'm saying? I just, I just don't know. That's something funny to me. You come, come around, act like you just, we just all the same and this is how we doing it. But really we dealing with people that are well versed in what they were doing for whatever reason. I guess you, that's up to for you to discern. All right. Act for free agents that the father has given unto his children and they might be um, more fully uh, tried and tested during the final days. Okay. So again, yeah. And I think that this is also like a ho whole thing, like say, uh, God, a, a God using, um, Satan or Lucifer. I'm not particularly sure which one to go against Job. Right. It's because you never did this. That's why he, right. So again, that I don't know, that's like a probation or a test again, like I said, to see if they will curse, right? Or or what what do you what will you do if you don't get your way, right? I don't know why I'm I'm sensing that. Okay. It said, and if ye the um the latter days are not deceived by the account of actions of these fathers, right? So again, I don't know, like I said. Uh, this is making me think about even, you know, um, some acts or whatever that's going to be doing in these times. If you really notice right now, there's a reappearance of the burning bush. There's a re well, you know, there is a re a resurfacing of the health of, um, you know, I told you I was going to try to remember the numbers of the president so we can just use them instead. <laughs> but that, again, there's a lot of safe faces resurfacing. A lot of, I mean, even when I'm going back to 9-11 with, um, you know, I, and again, I just don't even like mention whatever because it's supposed to be things happen or whatever, but. You know, you'll just see that a lot of stuff is resurf resurfacing here for the past 20 years or whatever, the so-called war. You know, there's a lot of things that are, a lot of, we're seeing a lot more of these pre-ideas of those times, okay, is, is what I'm trying to say here. I don't think I was supposed to wake up yet. I'm still t so tired, but I'm going to just do it. Okay, so again, if they're not deceived by the counts and actions of these fathers. So again, do you have founding fathers? And then you have, you know, I mean, regardless of how you want to look at it, they are the fathers, so-called, of the nation, okay, when they take that position, right? Which are which would possibly make them little G-gods, I'm not sure, like uh, spiritually, right? And from a spiritual aspect, which are constrained in the history that ye have accepted among you. So these are the things that you have, you've accepted. It doesn't mean that it's the truth, right? Then ye will know their wickedness and the misery that they have caused many people because of their works. Okay. All right. And this I can tell you, that the only interest of any of these men was for their own gain. And the protection of their own families. And these are men and, and women, right? Hmm. And their own property and for their own possessions. All right. So again, for anyone, and that's what I'm saying, for anyone that is saying like, and that's why I don't like to direct the energy towards anybody. These are things before I even tapped into this book that again, I was bringing forward in order to warn that this is happening, you know, and then now, you know, they're making a big deal out of people that are projecting or stating things without the proper facts, but they know exactly what the facts are. They know exactly what the facts are, but we're dealing with people that are, again, possibly dominated by some type of succubus, some kind of, some type of energy, like I said, some type of full rain energy. All right. Um, 
Neither did they care about the great suffering of the humble Lamanites who were forced out of their land by them. See, and people, you know, people want to go ahead and try to say, you know, they want to blame, like put the whole blame. Now, this could be talking about that again. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm, I'm not saying that it wasn't right. But I think at this point in time, I feel like on the level of the so-called community that the, uh, the claiming certain, um, to be connected or having familial ties or lineal ties to certain family lines and bloodlines and royal, you know, um, bloodlines that, um, that automatically so-called condemned, right? So it was just like a witch hunt, like, oh, that person, you know, is, is connected to this and that makes them evil automatically. And so we don't care. We're going to do this, this, and that. But again, just like you're not your ancestors, because again, like we say, there's lots of different parts of this aspect where the earth went against the earth, right? So again, in this day and age, we are our ancestors, right? But we are also the ones we've been waiting for to turn things around. And so again, I feel like um, if, 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 okay, <laughs> it's like repenting or turning away or not acting. So again, today, I, if you look at that, even if I would be tied to those bloodlines, right? You look at that or you or whoever, you know, you look at that and you see what works the people are doing now, though. Who's being whipped? Who's being nailed to the cross and whipped across the back now and still talking about and, and standing for their people now? Who's being whipped in the back by their own people at this point in time and still standing there? Also whipped in the back by the Gentiles. Also, you know what I'm saying? So you really have to look at that. There's some people that's behind the scenes. There's some people that's chilling now. There's some people that don't even show their face no more that much, right? And then the other people that are, when they do share their face, is very materialistic, is very, you know what I'm saying? All's about, like I said, to get that thing, that one thing, right? And again, it still may help a couple of people out. But then again, that one thing, if that is not uh have origins here as far as like how is stolen land even up for sale so or up for any type of um uh patent or anything so again i'm just what i'm i'm just standing for what's right right like that's just how i see it okay there's other ways to possess for for me it just seems like you know what i'm saying that's you 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 trying to come take the land from the the one that's supposed to be coming after the 400 years which had already passed you know what I'm saying? So this is the heads up. It's like they had a heads up and this is the movement I feel that was going on when it it doesn't matter because again, it's not legit. And so all those stones will crumble. So like, I don't know. I just feel like that's the kind of energy, like I said, that I feel um, when it comes, comes to that. Right. So again, somebody wanted to let these bricks be laid, but again, I just feel like it's, I mean, I don't feel like it's going to stand. Right. And I feel like that's what makes people upset. It's like hurrying up before Source puts together the kingdom and, and creating a kingdom, you know what I'm saying, on top of it. And that's the same thing. This is the same thing we describe in Genesis. Building a nation on top of a nation that was there prior to. <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting that A to Z or whatever, um, Alpha and Omega energy here. I don't know. So, the, the, so what makes it right then, right? Hmm. So again, the suffering of the humble Lamanites who were forced out of their land by them. So again, and I've, I see documentation, all this other bull, you know what I'm saying, when it comes to this, right? And it's kind of like what we were talking about the other day, but I'm, I, I, I apologize y'all I'm taking so long, but I'm just really probably shouldn't have done it yet because I'm not even all the way awake. And now this is the thing for which I must, but it's, it's been really heavily raining here and that, you know, it makes me not even want to sleep. It makes me not even want to, you know what I'm saying? It, Cause it, I mean, this rain you know, it's, it's almost like it's a, there's a masculine, right? Or, or I look at it as like Adonai, or I look at it as like, you know, Elohim, like, and I'll say Elohim plural, because it's like, it's really heavy, right? And it's been doing this the whole day nonstop. 
And so again, it's, it's really on me. It's really on me that something is is upsetting. You know what I'm saying? I do look at it as, as, as God so-called crying. You know? And and I don't know. I and this and this the feeling that it's giving me is just like this. Uh, it's just something. It's just it's just tear. I don't know. It's just tearing me up. It's making me seek and it's making me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Like wanting to like give myself to source fully to like let help me understand. You know, let me know what it is. You know. And I think that's just what's been on my mind for the past couple of days, even setting myself aside. You know what I'm saying? Just to, I don't know. And now this is the thing for which I must repent, even for the anger that swelleth up in my soul because of that which shall come to pass um, to the Lamanites. Um, who are my brothers and of my own flesh, even the flesh of our father Lehi. For behold, their plight shall be miserable in the last days, and this because of the exceeding wickedness of their great, of this great beast of the latter days. And this makes me think about a black widow energy or a, damn, I told you, like, but don't, I don't like not, nah, you know, take back, take it back, take it back. I ain't say it. I didn't say it. But I'm just saying, it's just like that energy, like, oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? Look it, look it. I don't, I don't know exactly who the Lamanites, you know what I'm saying? But humble, right? Because I think, mm, you know what I'm saying? Maybe even I could have looked at the Lamanites some kind of way if I'm now knowing and seeing maybe right this instance who the, who the Lamanites could have been <laughs> because of the works of these wicked and I say feminine energy to start off with, because again, a feminine energy could be a masculine that it has feminine qualities and so forth. Mm. Yeah. Of the great, and then I see even a reflective or deflective kind of energy here too. Because I mean, the other night something happened, and I was pissed. And it and like I said, it was it was more so about it wasn't like a like a petty jealousy thing. It's just like no, what did you talk about? You like this is like you know what I'm saying. Watching somebody reanimate you, you know what I'm saying, in front of you, like as if you can't do the job, and that you know what I'm saying. So again, it's a it, it felt like a spiteful move, like a smack in the face, actually. That that's the part, and it's almost like it brings back to that portion of the book I was reading about Inanna. You know what I'm saying. First of all, she had the same power, if not a higher sense of power than her father. Second of all, right, he he gave her all these things or whatever or made all these promises and then supposedly broke them, right? And again, I'm just saying this is what supposedly what, what we're seeing happen or whatever. And it's just like she already had to fight, you know, so it's, a, it's more of giving her that appearance of being someone who is rebellious or always mad or always complaining or all but it's just like she had to fight for everything she had to claw and scratch you know what i'm saying so everybody has their breaking point i think that's why the empress has that i can't i don't know what that thing is called that the that the death <laughs> the the grim reaper would be carrying you know what i'm talking about the kind of like blade thing right Mm. 
and you know just even that energy like i said of that brothering energy of like i don't know just like communing with angels or even it will maybe even look what we were talking about earlier about you know being that um that road right to something that that the kings are connected to right you know it, it um you know i don't know i don't know not i don't know like i said the kings of the earth right because the yeah the kings of the earth right then again, you know, we're talking, I don't know, I'm saying stars too, though, because again, to, to me, I think that some, there's earth angels. I think earth angel for me, just layman's terms, just speaking on it, are people that are of a quality of the heavens. But again, for some reason, they ended up being stuck on earth and, um, in, or in that, you know, category, that, that cast or class. Um, and like I said, I feel like that we're waiting for some kind of documentation, but you know, I feel like with that Inanna energy and with that energy, I don't, whatever you talking about came after me. So again, there's no, there for me, I have a, in my spiritual aspect or reach, why, why am I waiting for somebody to call me what I already know that I am when it comes to that star? And I was just, I, what I was just reading, um, S star, okay, is even just, I don't know why that just came to my mind like that, but it's almost just like, even like I said, having to like raise yourself up, back up, you know what I'm saying? To bring yourself up. Like, I don't know. And I don't know. It's something about that, man. And I don't know. It's something about that for me. Like I wait for no man in that sense. Because they've shown, they've shown and proved to me that, again, which is something I'm kind of thankful for. You got to fight. I mean, it's up to you. So, yeah, let's keep going. Okay, I'm going to speed it up. I'm going to speed up. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, so behold, their plight will be miserable in the last days, and this because of the exceeding wickedness of the great beast. Okay, so again, this is the beast that came up out of the sea. You know, I don't know why I'm seeing seven. Um, I don't even know if this is what it is, but seven horns, seven something, G7, seven, seven, whatever. I don't know. Um, this great beast. So again, great and then beast, you know, I don't know. G7, I, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. Okay. And my soul doth cry for them. All right. For even in my own days, they are um, a proud and noble people, you know. Yeah. And I think that this is the this is that feeling, that sense of nobility. And it is because of the sins of their fathers and the tr traditions of um, have been taught unto them. That have caused them to come up to battle against us and destroy us. Okay. So again, these traditions, right? Killing freedom, like Lauren Hill says. All these traditions killing freedom. You know what I'm saying? And then, ooh, what that even made me think about? Oh, we can't have this from time for Christmas. Oh, you want to use the babies now. We ain't worried about how many babies missing. We ain't worried about how many babies missing. We're not worried about how we can improve conditions at school for the babies. We're not worried about babies fainting in school with masks on their face. But we want to worry about what they could get for Christmas. Right? We we ready to... We, and then, like I told you, we got all this stuff sitting off the coast. Get it? Did we can't, you one one year you can't do what I, because I feel again I'm not the one to be all political and everything act like I know what I'm talking about but what I'm saying is just feel like again it's something it's something as soon as you put the put that that extension back out there for whatever to come in that you think you want to come in you are gonna regret it I can't help but to think. This is an illusion at this point when it comes to 40. I think 45 was last. It's just my opinion. This is an illusion. But it was supposed to go one way. But somebody else got their hands back on it. See, there was a one of these noblemen, one of these men, possibly, right? 
But again, one of the, the Lucifer Satan energy got the hooks in, turned him away from God. <laughs> the brooding vipers got their hands on him, turned him against from, against God. And once this God or goddess, I can imagine, got very upset and went in after all of the abuse, then that turned that, that person back into the serpent. See, all these, these, these traditions as well. Listen, I'm telling you, this have something to do with also this whole agenda. These traditional things, these, these things have to do with sexual Things and different agendas that are being spread, whether it's talking about sexual ties in that manner with two bodies <laughs> or sexual ties with other countries. You do you see what I'm saying? That those are the immoralities. Those are the immoralities. Because again, it also just puts all those tentacles that the hydro, the hydra something oh is it whatever i think hydra i don't know i'm thinking of octopus for some reason right the tentacles when again if you really think about it people going against things like i say but really i'm actually you know what i'm saying i don't know i think their ways are more grafting on and grabbing on to that way than mine i'm just really cutthroat about it because i see it so if my children got to go for a couple seasons, you know, I mean, well, like I said, we don't celebrate like that, right? I'm, I'm not saying nobody else can't. Like, I, what am I trying to say? I just don't. I celebrate birthdays. <laughs> All right. But I feel like it's just like, are you really willing to risk so much for something? I, and I, that's just what I don't get. All right. So again, let's see. Um, and if the Nephites would uh, have given heed unto the word of Christ, then they would not have been destroyed. Mm. I mean, because I don't know, the way I look at it is, you know, we're being able to see the face of the next new thing that's happening here. It just depends on what, what's going to happen. Are we going to let them continue to kill us off with these traditional freedoms that we think we can't live without, you know what I'm saying, at this time? To get us back into some form of servitude to, to you know, something? Or are we going to, you know what I'm saying, maybe suffer a blow or two, you know what I'm saying? Do what we got to do to build up each other, neighbor, you know what I'm saying, Buy, you know, barter, trade, buy from each other. Do other. You know what I'm saying? There's other ways, y'all. I just feel like it's a trick. To, I feel like it's a snare. Maybe that's what the hangman was representing yesterday. I just feel like it's a snare. That's what I feel. If we're not very careful and very vigilant in these times, that's just what it is. But even so, the Lamanite, Lamanites shall be peaceful people amongst themselves at the day that they are discovered by the European nations of which John hath written. And the vengeance for <clears throat> that which shall be done to my brothers is not mine to give, okay, but shall be given unto the Gentiles. And see, that's what I feel. This is what I feel right here. This is what I feel right here. And, you know, this is, if, if the Gentiles is, pissed off, you know, what they will do to the brothers. You see what I'm saying? Because I can look at the brothers with a forgiving eye. I mean, and I will hope, you know what I'm saying? They will do the same because again, that's what I feel. I don't know. That's just what I feel. The same, like I said, for me, if I, I, I fell asleep last night, just really, and I don't know, my eyes are puffing. Maybe I was crying in my sleep or something because I was just thinking like, you know, I am so appreciative of any like all of the spiritual my all of the people that I've met again within this time like I have nothing but gratitude it was just this, this prayer you know that I that I feel like for the strength of these particular people in these times righteous people right people people that are using their spiritual gifts for good right 
to help other people. You know, and again, some of that stuff can come in a good and bad, you know, it may be something kind of like hurts you. But again, it's, it's tough. Lo I look at it as tough love in a sense. Right. And then for actually feeling like for the first time in my life, even though I don't feel it 24 hours a day, even though it's not like the honeymoon period with source <laughs> anymore. <laughs> It's almost like still like when I'm in the, that deep, deep trouble, it's almost like the hand is there. You know what I'm saying? I was telling my daughter the other day, it's like on Animal Crossing, that video game, when that hand comes and pick up those people and put it somewhere else. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just like in a sense. So again, that that's what I feel. I feel like, yes, you know what I'm saying? I am, you know that I am in this sense, right? But don't get it twisted that it's not, you know what I'm saying, that I don't think that there's a higher power than me. I'm just here for a higher calling, right? In that energy on this plane, right? But is but there is a, a, a the universe and all, the all seeing, all powerful, most high, that energy, you know what I'm saying? So again, I was just thinking about like, man, <laughs> Right. So I don't know. I was just thinking about like the day that I don't know. So. Mm. So. You know, like a, like an eagle, like protecting, like, I don't know. It's just something. So it, it just made me really just be like in some kind of like a thankful, I don't know. And all of the cakes I feel that are being baked for Inanna and everybody, you know, because healing one, you know, each one teach one, you know. And it always starts with the, the man or the woman in the mirror. You know what I'm saying? That is what trickles down and, and heals the nation. Not toys for Christmas, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, or banding together and showing how we can do this in America as a nation that they tried to divide, even our own fathers in a sense, even our own, you know, brothers, even these people, you know what I'm saying? And that we can be the ones to turn it around for our children so that they don't have to suffer these same things to come. So that's just how I look at it. And the Nephites would have given heed unto Christ, um, the words of Christ. Okay, let's see. All right. Um, but even so, the Lamanites shall be a peaceful people among themselves at that day. And they are discovered by the European nations of which John hath written. Okay. So, again, it's almost a, to a smear campaign to make, again, a certain energies look evil or that what we're doing is wicked because they have tarot cards and you know like that like that if anything that's what i want to leave you know that that's the mark you know people prejudging or whatnot or retaliating or you know it's just like mm -hmm. and the vengeance for that which shall be done to my brothers is not mine to give okay we already read this all right y'all i'm gonna have to come back i'm gonna come back I'm going to come back because I don't even know if this thing is even still recording. I feel like I'm just like talking. Um, yeah. I tell you, tell me, uh, the Gentiles, apologies, who have destroyed the Lamanites by the hand of the Lord. Um, so again, this is, this makes me think about again, what has been done. When it comes to um, the Lord that is in, has been established at this point in time, if you get what I'm saying, um, allowing for those people to be left behind those lines is what I said. And any day it could just be corrected. Any day they could just do what they need to do. Any day, any day, any day. And um, no. So, because I think they're afraid that they have to pay. But I feel like if when it comes to 
source or the energy, the ancestors even possibly, right? It's like, you it, it's going to happen whether you do it or not. For it shall come to pass that just before the beginning of the half of the time, the Lord shall call forth the first of these latter day prophets to bring the fullness of the gospel to the people of the earth. And this is he who shall be called Joseph after the name of his father and shall bring forth the unsealed portion of the record and establish upon the earth another testimony of the gospel of Jesus Christ. So again, we're going to stop there. I don't even know if the is still recording. We're going to stop there. And um, I'm going to come back when I'm more awake because I just can't even keep my eyes open. I guess another thing, I don't have my glasses on. Yeah, we're going to stop there. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and join us in the, you know, uh, Facebook group, American Aborigines Unchained, for more alternative information, past, present, and future. And yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys later.